So let's look at this again, and I want you guys to look at how what we write as the written statement matches the words. X is less than or equal to zero, or X is greater than or equal to two. If you look at what this said, X is at most zero, or X is at least two. Are we good? Yes. What did you guys think of the next one? Okay. When I look at this and I'm looking at highlighting the critical words. When I look at the next statement, it says I'm thinking of a number that is more than zero and it's less than 10. I find these easiest to write if I just write the two statements and then I put them together with the and or the or. So it is x is more than zero X is less than 10. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to put a 0 and we're going to put a 10. Are the circles going to be filled in or empty? empty? And are they going to join or go off in different directions? They're going to join. So this is an and. I'd actually like to kind of rewrite this over here so you guys can see where the and is happening with the written. We have x is greater than 0, and we have x is less than 10. To put them together, we want to put the x in the middle. Think about the order of the number line. What's going to go on the far left? And what happens with the symbol for the left one here? It, flips, it, it has flips. to flip. And what happens over here? It stays as is. And if you notice what's happening here, this one is this one. And this one is this one. Right. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit faster on these last ones, so stay with me. I'm thinking of a number that is fewer than negative 6 and no less than 3. You know what? There's a negative that's supposed to be with the 3. Oh, I did not see that. I didn't either until just oh, now. Wow. Oh. That might change your graphs a little bit, huh? Okay. Okay, can we focus, please? And I am recording. X is less than negative 6. When I read fewer than, that doesn't sound like an equal to to me. It's less than it. It's fewer than it. Doesn't include it. And then what's happening with the negative 3? It's greater than, it's greater than or equal to. Why is it greater than or equal to? It says no less than 3. That's including the three, the negative 3 oh, in negative that. Three, negative yeah. So we're going to end up with negative 6 here and negative 3 here. And what's going to happen with the graph? This one is going to get a whole circle, and this one's going to get a filled in circle. And do they come together or go separately? Separately. By going separately, that means that they are or. Which just means for the written statement, we just take what we put here, and we put the or in the middle.
In my mind, I think of the ands as they're working well together and the ors are like arguing and shooting off in different directions, right? Okay, two to go. I am thinking of a number that is less than six. And it's greater than two. Already we can start to tell, is this going to be an and or an or? Yeah. Notice the words are in there. Okay. If x is less than six, x is greater than two. Two goes here, six goes here. I read both of those as not being equal to. They're both open circles. Would you guys agree with that? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to circle them both. It's going to be greater than 2 and less than 6, so it goes in between, which means this is an yeah. and. We're going to write this as x in the middle, 2 on the left, 6 on the right, and the symbol for the 2 has to flip. Starting to become clear? Yes. yes. Okay, one to go together, and then we're going to have some problems to do in the book. Yay. Okay, we have a number that is less than, I love this because it's nice and simple and you don't have to try to figure it out, less than or equal to negative 7. Let's write that down. X is less than or equal to negative 7. And then what, no, what word is next? Or greater than 12. The or. Or, the or is really important, and then it says greater than 12. X is greater than 12. This is when we're really glad that we're just doing quick snapshots of the graph because there's a lot of distance between negative 7 and positive 12 and we're not putting all the numbers that go in between them. The seven, negative seven, has a less than or what? Which means the circle is going to be solid. What direction does our arrow go? And then to the right, an open circle for 12. That means that this is an or, and we just rewrite it as we had it, x, less than or equal to negative 7, or x is greater than 12. Is it okay if you like flipped it? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so problems to do today in 3-6. Numbers 3 to 10 and 16 to 23. Okay. I'm not sure, it's like 206 maybe, 207? How interesting.